We'll guide you through how to fix Bluetooth not finding devices in Windows. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, make sure you've got the correct drivers installed for Bluetooth. For example, if your Bluetooth is built into your motherboard, make sure those drivers are installed. Or if you've got like a Bluetooth dongle, make sure the drivers for that are installed. Once you've done that, then go and click on the Windows button and open up your settings. Head to Bluetooth and devices. And then what you want to do is go and click on add device like so and click on Bluetooth. So now what we need to do is make sure the device is turned on and discoverable. It's important to note as well is that if you're using a device, um, for example, a phone, sometimes you need to actually go into Bluetooth in your phone settings for it to go and appear. So let me go and do that now. I'll go and open my phone and go into Bluetooth and then it goes and appears. But I had to actually go into my Bluetooth settings and while the settings are open, it then goes and appears and I could then go and connect. So try doing that if you're using a phone. However, if you're not using a phone, maybe you're using a speaker or some sort of other device, then do just make sure that the device is in pairing mode, which makes it discoverable. So on some devices like a speaker maybe or some sort of Bluetooth mouse, you sometimes need to go and hold a button and that will then go and make it discoverable and you can then go and connect to it from your computer. If you've got it in pairing or discovery mode and it still isn't working, then what you want to try doing is connecting a different Bluetooth device to this computer. Because if that one then goes and appears, you know, put that device in pairing mode and see if you can get it to appear, then that shows that it may be a problem with that specific device if another device can connect. However, if that other device still can't go and be found by your computer, then it could be a sign that's a problem with your computer. And if you only have one Bluetooth device, you could always try that on a different computer or phone or whatever. And if it appears on the other phone, then it shows that the device is working and it's a problem with your computer. However, if it still doesn't appear, then it could be a problem with that specific device. So if you try to connect another Bluetooth device and it still isn't appearing, or maybe you've gone and tried that original Bluetooth device with another computer or phone and it is appearing there, then it shows it could be a problem with your computer. So what you want to do is come to the bottom of your computer, click on search and click on services. And what you want to do is go and scroll down and go and locate Bluetooth support service, then right click on it and click on properties. And what you want to do is go and set the startup type to automatic. And then you want to go and make sure it's running because as you can see here, the Bluetooth service supports discovery and association of remote Bluetooth devices. So you need to go and make sure this is currently running. So press start if it isn't already and set it to art automatic so it's running when you start your computer. And then what you can do is go back to your Bluetooth settings and go and see if you can then go and see the device. So you'll need to go and put the device into pairing mode as well. If things still aren't working, then what you should do is just go and try restarting both devices. That can often go and refresh things. So to do that on your computer, click on the Windows Start button, click on the Power button and click on Restart. And on the Bluetooth device, you can just go and turn it off and then back on again. And then hopefully you will be able to go and connect. If you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.